Amazon versus Walmart, two of the biggest retailers in the US. But which one has the best gaming PC? So Matt and I have $500 to spend, but we gotta figure out who gets which retailer. And to pay for this, we have to hear a word from today's sponsor. You're working on a project and the deadline is at 12 o'clock. You're putting on the finishing touches when boom, the power goes out. As it comes back on, you scramble to find your project file corrupted. And when did you last save? This amazing software can save you from DEF CON situations at work and school. With its all-in-one data recovery, Wondershare Recover It supports over 2,000 plus storage devices and 1,000 plus file formats, saving you from system crashes, formatting issues, and virus attacks. Its enhanced photo video recovery can help you return lost photos from the grave, bringing them back in glorious HD, 4K, or 8K still intact, configured to work with the most popular camera brand formats, which is super important for us here at the Toasty Bros. It can be a lifesaver to know that when our NAS gives us trouble, we have a way to restore any corrupted or lost footage. Just give it a download, select the drive you want to recover from, and then Wondershare's Recover It will show you the files that it can safely recover. Choose which ones you want, hit recover, and let the magic happen. You can download Recover It for free using the links in our description down below. Save yourself some headaches by giving it an install today. Thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it, shall we? The last time we did one of these challenges, Jackson and I played basketball outside to see who gets to pick their retailer first because, well, there's obviously a clear advantage between one over the other in terms of the budget gaming PCs from our experience, but today we decided to do the challenge a little bit differently. We ain't touching grass today. We're touching the bean battles. <laughs> So if you don't know what bean battles is, it's basically, well, your beans and you use guns. Three rounds, basically best of three. Battle Royale style. Yeah, the winner gets to pick the retailer they want. Eat lead. Oh God, he's hurting me. Uh, here. Oh! I see your bean head. What are you gonna do? I'm running away. Ah. Oh, I'm eating my own, oh, I'm gonna die to my own gas. Oh no, I must oh, push. Brother, I'm bleeding out. I, I, I can see your blood trail. Spare me. <laughs> Trying to get a shotgun. One hey, up. Dude, my, my own gas got me. All right, Matt has one round. It's my top hat, guys. The top hat really helps. And this is a very original map, by the way. It doesn't copy any map from any video game ever. Oh! Ooh, is that, did my grenade get you? It did. Dude, that was a fire throw. Oh God, dude, why are you so warmed up in bean battles right now? Apparently, I am like a god here. <laughs> He's hitting every shot on me. Well, it was best of three, and um... Well, I think that means you won. I think, I think that means I won. Apparently, I played We gotta Zach. finish this out, man. Yeah, I, we'll I, finish I need it a dub. Oh my god, dude. I, 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 If I can just keep strafing, no Oh my god, golly <laughs> Jesus! Am I hitting? Yeah, I'm a one tap. Oh! Uh, uh, he won all three rounds, so I think he gets to pick what he'd like. So I had to suffer with Newegg last time. Um, actually, no, Jackson did Newegg last time. Let me review. Yeah, yeah, because you won the last one. So I did Amazon last time. I really don't want to do Amazon again. Amazon's probably the easiest choice, honestly, <laughs> but I'm going to do Walmart because I want a little bit of a challenge. Let's see what we end up with Walmart. Jackson's going to shop on Amazon. We got 500 bucks to spend. What kind of pre-builds can we get? Well, let's go online and shop away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to shop on Walmart for a gaming PC. Walmart has some interesting options. Um, $499 for another 5600G PC, another 5600G PC. Viper Tech with a 650. This one says i7 with a 580, eight gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD. Uh I'm hoping I can find like a refurb or upgraded office computer. That's probably my best bet. Oh, we got a mini PC. Man, I might be stuck with this Eclipse. I think the Eclipse is our best bet. It doesn't look amazing. I would think we could play games and get decent FPS, but how good will it be? I don't know. I guess we're going to buy it and find out. All right, guys, I got 500 bucks to spend on Amazon. I made the joke to Matt. The STG brawn is going to pop up right there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that up to the side. Ooh, I like some. A mini PC would be really dope to be able to like beat whatever Matt gets, but I don't think that's going to happen, honestly. Cannot stand i5 like give me the freaking model number because i already know this is going to be a really old i5 fourth gen i5 but the graphics card on the stg is immensely better okay all right i'm i'm kind of almost leaning this one this is my favorite one so far i completely got rid of my amazon listing this seems like the best deal i've found so far it has windows 10 already on it it's a decent looking build in all honesty i think i'm gonna go with this one we get the i5 8500 with the gtx 1070 let's order it 
All right guys, my Amazon pre-build is here and I am excited because I got something that is not quite like the usual pre-builds that we get. I like the sticker that says Thousand Deals Toronto. Claimed on the box that it was made in Canada, which is interesting, but it's a FBA, so fulfilled by Amazon. I got a kind of interesting combo. I mean, the 8500, which is a six core, six thread, with a GTX 1070. Ooh, we already got the troubleshooting guide out the gate. That's no, we're off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, and it's a uh, Abyss PC, which we've actually bought their PCs a couple times when we're doing like our, uh, you know, like four or $500 pre-built videos. But I thought this one kind of stood out, not only because of the specs, but also the case is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a DIY Q3 or like one of those Apivia Prism style cases. Added extra FPS right there. This thing's a, it's a thick case. A graphics card has five display outs, so that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna use more than one, but they're there. You don't really see GTX 1070s in pre-bolts either. That's the no. strange part, but $500, the, the, the main core specs look pretty good. Yeah, I'm curious what the price per point will be when we do our benchmark, because it's, I don't know if this is a combination we've really like done before. Depends what in the me. hell is going on here? And oh what God. in the dust Catch is on that graphics card? Oh my God, it's like they didn't even like, oh, uh. It has a weird texture, it like holds on to dust kind of, but yeah, they definitely could have cleaned it a little better. What brand is this card? Or Wait. like, is that, oh, it's Maxon. I Maxon, think. okay, that kind of makes like sense. It looks like it says Maxon, I think. I, honestly, I can't even tell. It looks like it could say all kinds of different words. Four sticks of RAM, and I think it's 16 total. Let me check your listing. I think it's supposed to be 16. Yeah, four gig at 2400T. So it's DDR4 at 16 gigs total mm -hmm. with four sticks. I got this weird tower cooler. Honestly, they could have used a stock cooler, but I'm glad that I'll have a little bit of extra cooling performance. We got RGB fans, which are not very pretty. Like, look at the paint on that, Jana. I was just going to say, they painted it themselves. Look at the overspray or like the spray issues on the back right here. Like the oh yeah, they did. They paint painted themselves. these themselves. I think so they were black, black fans fans. that they painted white. All right, let's see what the back looks like. Is the front's not terrible? I mean, it's not great. The ketchup and mustard throws it off a little bit, but as long as the back isn't like atrocious, I'm I think I'm happy with what I bought. Everything about this kind of confuses me. I guess G Partners is the case, but this looks like one of those O11 Dynamic Mini clones that is just rebranded. Killmage was not bad. That power supply looks dusty too. Oh, it's Cooler Master. That's definitely used. It's a 600 watt. Uh, MPX 600. Kill management is definitely not the greatest, but yeah, it's there. Our M.2 is definitely used as well. I don't think there's a single new part in this build. I'm just not realizing. The case could be new. It's a build, guys. I, <laughs> you know, let's just turn it on. It's a build. It's a build. In Amazon standards, this is uh, spec-wise better than most, but yeah. you see where the compromises are. I definitely feel like compared to the usual like STG system or similar, you're always gonna get like those older, I found a lot of those, older i5, older Xeon with something like a RX 5700, which yes, would perform a lot better than our 1070, but I hate the fact that in every game would be held back by those older i5s or Xeons, so. I wanted to switch it up and try to get a newer i5. We gotta see what uh, Walmart had in store because if you think this has a oh. little bit of issues to it, Walmart was way worse. Walmart was not even close to being a good option, but we'll go ahead and open it up and see how it compares to this thing because on paper, specs look good. I mean, look, the RGB's on. With the RGB on, it's just a beautiful build. Forget yeah. the spray painted fans, forget all that. <laughs> it's absolutely ready to go. Let's take a look at the Walmart computer. And if you guys saw my shopping part of this video, I was having a struggle. Same thing where like for $500, I couldn't find anything that wasn't a Ryzen 5 5600G build or an office PC that was upgraded. So we landed on the Eclipse ATX from, what was the company's name again? Blackout Computers. And I got a white computer, <laughs> ironic. Yeah. Um, Blackout Computer. So we'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. <laughs> but the key specs and even on paper, this one's already looking better. 580, typical. I'm so tired of buying systems with the RX 580. It's probably a 2048 <laughs> i7 processor. Let's see what i7 it is. But hey, I got a name brand box right here from Blackout Computers. Okay, so we have the usual instructional manual, which uh, remove foam, all that sort of stuff. Let's go ahead and take this computer out, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, they went, okay. Ooh, you get the sheath. I was gonna say, I'm like, these pre built companies, man, they put so much money into this. I mean, it's cool. It makes the unboxing experience better, but like, could I have gotten a 1070 instead? Could I have gotten a 1660 <laughs> level card for the same price? Probably, but you all wanted to make it look pretty on unboxing. Let me know down below, which one would you rather have? Is that Velcro? Either? It's Velcro, look. Oh. Jonah, like, this is ridiculous, man. This is for ridiculous. all the land parties you go to. But I can do a cool reveal, you ready? Ah, I don't think I've seen this kind of case Look, before. Speaking of thermal take smart. We have thermal take smart, so we at least got that going for us. I mean, not great power supply, but interesting case design. This was the white model, which was cheaper than the black model from Blackout Computers. Hmm. Who interesting, who would have thunk? I bet yours didn't have any spray paint on it. I don't know if it will. This is 
Tempered glass, we're good there, no acrylic. Everyone uses Instapack, but this is like a really, this feels like a poor man's Instapack. <laughs> They reused it. And there's my bill. Oh my God, I feel like I've seen this bill like a thousand times. Oh look, 2048. Oh wow, it's a 2048, that looks crusty. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You can buy these on AliExpress, well, new, quote unquote new, for like $50 and they're using used ones. Um, the That's... CPU is an i7, but I don't know what i7. <laughs> Quad cord. 16 gigs of RAM, DDR, ooh, that I don't know. Let me verify, let's see. Fortune. Fortune. So it would be DDR3. Yeah. So actually it's an i7-4790, I verified that. So at least we got a decent four core eight thread, but we are DDR3, not great. Um, the 580 with the 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe, we'll check out the cable manager as well. Can you see the NVMe? Better be a damn Can they give you a one terabyte NVMe? They, yeah, they did. It's hiding under the graphics card though. So we'll verify that when we get in there, but a one terabyte NVMe. Feels kind of overkill. It does feel overkill for a bill of this price point. They could have been a 512, but you know what? It's 2024, games are huge. So I mean, eh. Oh, look, they left the twist tie. What's that for? Did they cable manage with twist ties? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's only one other one and it's down here. Oh, so they decided to say, okay guys. All right, we need to have a talk. You save money on twist ties. Would you buy those bags? Just use zip ties, guys. Come on, zip ties a little cleaner. I mean, this is fine. This is acceptable. I, I feel like the other thing that, that you see a lot, and I feel like we're pretty good about it at PC Bros, is like both of these builds are very clearly using, I mean, almost all used parts. And I don't really feel like either one of them really make it like super apparent. You no. know what I mean? That like it's it's used parts. And I don't know. I just feel like companies should be a little better about that. Amazon has gotten better, and I don't know if they're forcing their sellers to do this, where anything that's using used parts, they go under the Amazon renewed section mm. because they are used. Walmart, on the other hand, I didn't notice that to be very apparent. And there's a lot of the older office computers still <laughs> that are not renewed. I guess I'll start it on and see what the RGB looks like. In theory, we should have four RGB fans. They were Molex, if you saw in the back, not very pretty. Maybe yours would be quieter than mine. Maybe. My, my system's pushing some air. Oh God, it's really oh. bright. Are these white only? Oh, oh no, we're, we're demo moding. Demo What's that mode. noise? What have we done with this video? What have, yeah. we, what have we What have we? purchased? Is this gonna change the RGB? It does. It ain't the prettiest, but for $500, so far on paper, Jackson's PC is looking better for spec wise, but is there any weird things under the hood? Is that SSD like really slow? And is that hard drive maybe ancient? <laughs> and maybe his games will run like Guaranteed. crap? I don't know. Maybe this SSD that's in here is not even a real SSD. Maybe it's an SD card. I'm just kidding, that can't happen, <laughs> can it? Uh, but we're gonna solve some games. We're gonna test oh. them on both PCs, see what they can do. They did the line of screw method. Oh, two screw. Oh, they only need two screws? We saved some money, boys. Okay, um, so we're kicking things off with Halo Infinite on both of these beautiful computers. <laughs> um, mine took forever to load in. Uh, we are on medium settings, which I think is incredibly bold for a 580 2048 in Halo Infinite, but we're giving it a shot. Jackson has medium settings too. I think he's gonna have a much better time than me. This B-roll I'm getting is at uh, 50 FPS. I'm, I'm getting between like 80 and 100. You know what? This is gonna be something. We'll see. If I, if I hold 60, if I get close to 60, I'll be pretty impressed, but we'll give it a chance. My 8400 is about 54% usage, and my 1080 is like 98%, so I got a pretty uh, pretty balanced system. Which, by the way, they said you were gonna get an 85 and you got an 84. Ooh, so I got scammed. Scammed. I will be honest, even though mine's getting 80, it, it feels chunky. Bruh. Oh, I killed someone with a stick. How did I do that? Like literally a stick? Yeah, a sticky grenade. <laughs> yeah, I'm averaging about 40 FPS. I would deem this Dude. not very playable at medium settings. Bruh. I got got. They're kind of they're kind of running this right now. I know some of the settings won't change. Low settings isn't making that big of a difference. 48 to 50, you know, up to 50, not 60. Oh my God, why are they all over here? We're capping, we have, we're capping. Oh look, we're finally about to start earning some points. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Uh, am I still in the game? Okay, I got like minimized for a second. It went black screen. That's <laughs> not a good sign. God, why will nobody die in this game? Oh, and there's another ghost. Oh, what? Oh. Well, if this runs as quick as it's going to, we're gonna have to try another Halo, see if we get a little better experience. Oh, I did not. Oh, that, I blame lag on that. Gotta be honest, guys, not having fun. Oh, a ghost. Dude. I swear to God. I swear to God, these ghosts, man. Why does it keep minimizing me? I keep getting minimized. I'm gonna say Halo was a no-go for me. It, I mean, dude, it literally felt like I was running at like 10 FPS. Like it said 80, <laughs> but it felt like 10. Oh, maybe Fortnite will be better. Why does it keep minimizing <laughs> <laughs> next game? You got those sticky keys, homie. All right, guys, Um, Fortnite. Maybe that will be better. I don't really know. Last time we did this, where we did um, Amazon versus Newegg, both of our pre-builds really struggled until we went to really low settings. It was um, bad. But we are running lower settings right now. We're running DX11, 
epic view distance, low textures, everything's on low, no upscaling or anything like that. So we'll see. I, I have higher hope. This game's a bit easier to run, but we've had some issues where some days Fortnite just doesn't want to work right. It all depends on what the current update is. And what is the current meta, guys? All right, the rules are we at least get somewhat far or we re up to three times. <laughs> I'm already lagging immensely. Yeah, I'm having like insane lag spikes, Whoa! but I think my game could smooth out. My 8400's at 100%. Come on, game, load. Load the textures it's already. It's trying, it's trying so hard. Now I'm just putting it out there. If my PC minimizes again, there's something wrong with mine. It just auto disqualified blackout computers. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, off the drop, I'm just getting uh, close to like 50, 60. We get like 30, 40, 50. I'm, I'm getting it all. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of me. Misa coming, Misa coming. A down one, holy crap, my audio is so loud. Oh, I see him. Oh. Hey! Taken Let's out go. of the game. Oh, I broke him. Pull up on him. Why does this thing have such a zoomed in scope on it? Oh, wait, these guys have a shot. All right, I'm gonna bring us to the other side of the hill. Oh! Oh! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running oh. up here. Dude, they have not stopped shooting, that much I know. I just downed Furious Bug. I got his teammate. Whoa, someone else, who, is, shooting someone else is shooting me. Who is shooting are at me? Are these real people? Why are there things yellow? I I don't know. Was that AI? Whatever it was, I just killed it. <laughs> you killed gl Glopazoid. <laughs> Bro, look up. Oh, you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I just took that person out of the game. I got somebody else. Ah. I'm having to reload all of my Dude, guns. what is this AI? Oh, dude, I can't. Oh my God, they're, they're clapping me. They're kind of cracked on me. Uh, he's coming down towards you. He's right next to you. Oh! Oh! Oh, this shit on us. Hey, that was a pretty yeah, decent I just run. I literally had all my guns not reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, um, I wouldn't say Fortnite was great. What would you say was your FPS average? Um, 50 to 80. Honestly, about the same. I think Fortnite just, CPU bound, especially on these settings, really messes things up. I could run DX12 for an AMD GPU, but you know, it is what it is. But now we finish the benchmarking uh, side by side. Let's run 30 more times by and get a cent per point average to really see which one was the best bang for buck for $500. I have a feeling like I know which one's gonna win. All right, guys, we just got done doing a double benchmark where Matt and I played some games simultaneously, and we also ran some benchmarks on the PCs as well. And honestly, both of them were not terrible, but neither one of them were great. And considering they were both right at the $500 price point, the 3D bar time spot score definitely shows that Amazon is the better overall value, getting a score of 6,055, which is an eight cent per point score, versus my PC, which got 3,858, which is a 13 cent per point Ooh. score, which again, when I was browsing on Walmart, I could tell you guys the only thing that was available were 5,600 GPCs, office PC upgrades, or something like this. And Amazon, as you know, has a wide selection of gaming pieces you could buy at $500. So we think in this battle between Walmart and Amazon, Amazon is the winner, but you all let us know down below which one's your favorite. And if you wanna shop on either Walmart or Amazon for a gaming PC, check that link down below. We'll be in the affiliate link and will help us out. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one, Bye bye both of these PCs right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech at a very good discounted price. And warrantied, yay. Just in case you buy yeah. one of these and you're a little bit worried about them, PCBros.tech, you can buy PCs like this or our custom PCs that are hand-built, ready to go. Use code TOASTBROS2 and check out the save 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Bye bye.